Okay, well, on this plaque, we have, why did Pleistocene Ice Age mammals grow so large? But I might uh, give a little background on the uh, Pleistocene, the so-called Great Ice Ages in here. They began about 2.6 million years ago. And then we had glaciations and interglacial er er intervals. Now the glaciations may have lasted a million years. That was the time when huge continental glaciers moved southward from the polar regions and covered much of North America and Europe. Then it would be an interglaciation. Whenever the glaciers would recede all the way northward, maybe completely melt away. But they, uh, those particular uh, intervals of time, a glacial, interglacial interval was probably what it was like today. And so you had, even mentioning entering Missouri, we had about the six glaciations and six interglaciations over a period of uh, 2.6 million years. The glacier that got into downtown Kansas City here was about 700,000 years ago, which geologically speaking is a flicker of time. Uh, but you see, uh, the uh, mammals, uh, the mammals and dinosaurs, they uh, coexisted for over 150 million years. But the mammals never amounted to anything during the time the dinosaurs reigned. That was during the Mesozoic interval uh, from the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods known as the Mesozoic era. But uh, the, the, the dinosaurs were, the first dinosaurs were a little chicken size, but they grew larger to some of these creatures that were 90 feet long and weighed uh, tons in here. And so through, then uh, whenever the um, dinosaurs became extinct about 60 million years ago at the beginning of the Cenozoic, they, uh, then the mammals, of course, occupied the ecological niches left open by the dinosaurs. And they just radiated out into maybe 18 different orders in here, and then they gradually grew larger, many of them. Most of them remained small, but there were a lot of large ones. And uh, throughout time, here is Unitatharian, which was a large, uh, uh, grotesque-looking creature with big knobs on its skull. It lived back in the, uh, probably in the Eocene, maybe 50 million years ago. And uh, here's a, uh, This is a hornless rhinoceros that lived during the Miocene about 20 million years ago. It could look into a four-story window. Uh, it was uh, about 20 feet high. And uh, then we had other types of mammals that grew large. But there never was so many large mammals like we have during the Great Ice Age, the last 2.6 million years. And why do they grow so large? We don't know. Uh, there's been a lot of theories, but there seems to be a comparison between the surface area, the body surface area, and the volume. It seems that the amount of surface area, the volume increases a lot more than the surface area. And so it's to a creature's advantage to get huge because it keeps warmer in a cold, cold, cold climate. This is what it amounts to. But we don't really have any, uh, any definite information about why uh, they grew so large, why we had uh, large ground sloths. We had bears, we had uh, mammoths, mastodons, bison, uh, cats, all of them of immense size. Why did they grow so large? That's. Uh, one of your uh, questions that's been lost in the abyss of time. I mean, it's, 